In this mini clip, we will be looking at unit conversions. We're asked to convert 80 kilometers per hour to meters per second. So kilometers per hour and meter per second are known as rates. This backslash, or the per, is just known as division. So 80 kilometers per hour really means that we have 80 kilometers in one hour, or 80 kilometers divided by one hour. So I'm going to rewrite this rate in fraction form. So we have 80 kilometers per one hour, or divided by one hour. Now we want to convert kilometers to meters, and we want to convert our hours to seconds. Let's start off by looking at our time. In order to change hours to seconds, we need to multiply this rate by rates that we are already familiar with. For example, we know that in one hour we have 60 minutes. So I'm going to multiply this rate by one hour all over 60 minutes. Now the reason why I wrote this rate with hours in the numerator and minutes in the denominator is because you'll notice that our hour units will divide out. So now we're left in our denominator with the units minutes. However, we don't want minutes. We really want seconds. So now we're going to multiply this by another rate that we are familiar with. We know that there are 60 seconds in one minute. Because we want to eliminate our minutes, I'm going to write this rate with minutes in the numerator. So we have in one minute, we have 60 seconds. Now our minutes will divide out once again, and in our denominator we are now left with seconds, which is exactly what we want, meters per second or meters divided by seconds. All we're left to do now is to convert our kilometers to meters. Thinking to our rates, we know that there are a thousand meters in one kilometer. Now we want to get rid of our units kilometers, which means that I need to write this rate with meters in the numerator. So we have a thousand meters and then in the denominator we want our units kilometer one kilometer. This is because our kilometers will divide out and we're left with meters in the numerator, which is what we want. Now we just need to multiply these fractions together. So we'll multiply our numerators, 80 times 1 times 1 times 1,000, and then we'll divide this by 1 times 60 times 60 times 1 you'll get that your final answer will be equal to 22. And don't forget our units. We have meters per second. And this is our final answer.